Hi everyone, welcome back. Welcome to Dollar Tree Strikes Again. I think that's the name we're going with. I don't know, maybe video 3, 4, 7, 12, I don't know. It may change. But for now, Dollar Tree Strikes Again. And what I'm using is mostly all Dollar Tree products and then making something with it. But before we go, these things I already have in on hand. I guess I could have got a poster board and made some card bases, but why? did it make some sense. We have poster um card front card basis we got this as our card front this paper is Dollar Tree uh, excuse me Michaels and this I got in a D stash from somewhere so anyway looks like very tropical right and then we're going to be using this right here popcorn bags storage essentials eight pieces and I thought it was really cute it says hello summer on here unfortunately you only get eight so I know a lot of people are into making those little bag mini albums right now and I wish that my brain would function like that but it doesn't so this is how it looks um, it's only one front piece so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this we're making five by seven cards I had stated yesterday on my live stream that I am slacking in the card making department right now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just cut this down I haven't made a lot of cards this year, which is kind of weird for me because I'm normally into making cards, but um, I've been trying to tell myself, let's do something else. Let's do something else. Let's do something else. Uh huh. All right. So we work in inches. Okay. So it's right at seven inches. And that's okay. This is fine. No worries. And the reason why I said that is because we're going to take and cut them down together. So we're going to just make three cards. I feel like, you know, if you watch me do one card, you've seen me do all three of them, right? So I'm just going to show you the first one, the first setup or steps together. Just sliding this over a little bit because I feel like I got that corner. And then this is our card front. I'm going to go ahead and cut the other two and come right back. All right, so um, everything is cut down to size. It is definitely approximation more so than actual measurements. You could, if you have a larger paper cutter, you could definitely cut it down to what you want it to do. But this is roughly uh, six and a quarter by four and three fourths. So there we go. And these roughly measure a little bit under five by seven. Now, the thing about paper, right, this has this little groove. You can't, it's a little groove right here. You know, like paper bags tend to have creases. So I'm just going to push push that out a little bit, smooth it out some. And I think that these are going to be very cute, very cool. Now, this would also work as a cute invitation. You know, you glue it down. And on the back, you have a stamp that says RSVP, time, date. And it's a luau-themed party. Let's go invite everyone let's come on let's go to the wherever we're gonna go and have a good time drink some drinks that are definitely going to make us happy you know be it uh, something that's gonna make your nose curl up or that good old-fashioned refreshing drink that just tastes so good when I have been on cruise uh, one cruise but when I've been overseas in different places I've always tried to drink not not an alcohol beverage, but just something that everyone's like, ooh, this is so good. And that I've been opposed to or maybe like, no, I don't want to try that. So now we got it all laid down flat. We'll do one card, but we'll see all three at the very end. And now I'm just going to uh, burnish the glue in some, smudge that glue in. I think I'm actually going to try some tape as well because this paper, the paper bag that we're using is super thin. Now, I know that you all have seen me... Um, some glue seeped out uh, used paper bags in the past I find that that is a very easy cheap way to create some things not only do we have eight cards that we can make for dollar twenty-five which is really good right you also can take the back piece if you want if you have some dies or stamps and put a big uh, pineapple or cut a shape out and stack a few pineapples on and do some things like that so you don't have to ha even with this this doesn't have to be a five by seven card you can cut it in half and make it a two size card if you wanted to you know if you so chose to do that but right now we're going to focus on our five by seven card I have some one of my friends gave me a big stack of 
car bases and that's why we've been using them more and more because they're on hand they're right here at this little lump this is why we're going to try to use some tape so right here where it says right under here we could probably put something here like a pineapple or something because I don't like this lump right here so we're going to put this to the side let it dry I guess and then we'll come back all right I know I said I was going to show you all of them at the end but I just want to discuss something quickly if this is too thin you see how it's like you can see through it's kind of translucent you can see the tape you could always take a white sheet of paper and just glue it on the back um, to give it a little bit more sturdiness and then you don't have to worry about it with this right here I do have a few tropical type things but since they're not quote unquote Dollar Tree products I will wait until the product is this is finished I have some little um, birds tropical birds that we can probably put right here because this is going to bug me I, I could also probably take a strip of ribbon or something and put there but I think I'm just going to put a little bird or maybe a drink I have a, a stamp so I could do that later I could fix it later but I'm just trying to show you the things that you could do with Dollar Tree products that you have on hand you know I know a lot of people have like Dollar Tree series and things like this so it's always good to see what you know people have come up with that maybe you didn't think about whenever I go to the Dollar Tree I am always always on the lookout for craft things in everything I look at unless I'm trying to get some food and then all I'm trying to craft is not to be hungry right so we got this and we're going to go ahead and just lay this flat. The reason why I'm doing it like this is because adhesive and I are not buddies. Okay. We are not the best of friends. I don't even know if we're the worst of friends. We're like frenemies sometimes. Because you know sometimes you got to like your co-workers right. You got to deal with those co-workers if you're working in the office setting. You got to deal with them. And even though you don't like sharing from accounting. Um, she the person that do your paychecks. And you got to deal with her okay so then we're just gonna pull these things off I had a co-worker that we had a falling out when I arrived there um, and then we became the best I would say the best of friends but we became very good friends overall because well we once we found out how each other were right because I was a new person they were on vacation when I showed up so they didn't know you know much about me it's always interesting to be the new person showing up with some the boss like they were the supervising that division that section were not there and um i show up and i'm like i need this this and this and they're like wait, wait who are you i'm like who are you anyway let's go ahead and put these cards together all right so we're back on our last card or the first card that you're gonna see ha 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 and um what we're gonna be doing is using our finger i know it's I need to go ahead and get that little glue sponge situation going that I had talked to y'all about many, 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 many moons ago. And I just haven't did it yet. But anyway, um, I feel like this is better because this paper is really thin. So if you have one of those little glue sponges, this would probably be beneficial to pull it out. And, you know, we've been attempting to treat our inside of the card a little bit more frequently than normal because normally I'll be like this is it it's a blank card but yeah and then if you have a cleaning situation or you just rub your fingers there you go and then we just smudge this down gently rubbing this in gently because it's still a little bit of glue that we didn't get all on the edge so we just rub this gently and it comes down so nice so easy and look this is much smoother right much smoother than lumpy bumpy on the outside so I have decided I'm gonna treat the bottom of the cards with something on the top wherever I find lumps and bumps like right here this is our, I think this is our first one so it has a small tear we're gonna probably put a pineapple or a drink there but anyway these are our cards I had such a great time doing it remember this cost us roughly a dollar twenty five right because all I had to do is buy the, this. I didn't have all the stuff I already had on hand. I got these white card bases for free. They weren't free though. They were free for me, but she purchased them. Um, 
and then this was already in the supply already in our stash but yeah I like how they came out very fun these could also be cards when you said hey let's go on a cruise hello summer you know anything like that anyway I want to say thank you all for watching I hope that you've enjoyed this video as much as I have enjoyed making it I want to say thank you until next time happy crafting